Going on, lots to update you on today. I wanted to release this breakthrough over you, to release this grace, the goodness of God over you. Amen. That's right, Rob. Thank you for the prayers. Happy Savon. Praise God. Florida here. Continue to give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Let me know where you are watching from so that I can say hello. One of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Ben Lim, is in the house. Hey there, Prophet Luis. Miss you too. Hey, Melissa, Cynthia Deshini. Hello there, Tammy Holt. Bless you. Elijah Obam. Rachel, God bless you. Paula Redeemed. Shalom. Gracie Ann Adams. We have some exciting, exciting news, my friends. So I cannot wait to share this with you. And just give you an update. But I also want to talk about the pride of man that will fall. This is the month where we're going to see pride month become nothing. And yesterday, <clears throat> as I released a prophetic word for the month of June, there was such a strong prophetic utterance that was released in the beginning of the prophetic word. You need to watch it. But I'm going to repeat some of that again now. And I'm going to repeat that or go deeper into that in this prophetic breakthrough broadcast that I have for you today. Because the month of pride will fall. And this month, in the month of June, in the Hebrew month of Sivan, we're going to see the pride, the proud fall. And we are going to see pride month fall. Amen. So I have a number of things I want to talk to you about. I want to share with you. Continue to give us some hearts and likes. Praise God. I'm here in Chicago land. And uh, earlier today, we turned in the manuscript. Amen. If you didn't know, I have been working on a manuscript since January for Chosen Baker Publishers. I literally been working on it almost every week. I mean, it's been a lot of work. Hallelujah. But even in the midst of all the work, it's been such a joy and so much revelation. Oh, man. This book, guys, The Lost Art of Honor, is so filled. It is oozing and teeming with so much honeycomb glory. And even this morning, I woke up early and uh, I reviewed the whole thing again. Oh, so exciting. Hallelujah. So we turned in the manuscript today to uh, Chosen Baker Publishing. And I'm very excited. Um, it's going to be released next year, June 2024. But it is titled The Lost Art of Honor. The Lost Art of Honor. And I'm still praying about the subtitle. You know, I've got a number of different options for the subtitle. But uh, very excited. Amen. And I turned that in today. Glory be to God. So celebrate with me. Amen. And I'm telling you, friends, I believe this book, The Lost Art of Honor, I believe is going to be a game changer for our generation. A hallmark book. In a sense, I'm believing in, in the utmost humility. That uh, in the same way where Danny Silk's book, The Culture of Honor, marked his generation. I'm believing that this book will mark our generation. We need honor. Amen. We need honor to come back to the church. Honor to come back to the prophets, to the men and women of God. So it is oozing and teeming with word anointing revelation. So happy. So we just finished that today, June 1st, boom. And we turned it in, hallelujah. So super exciting. As well, glory be to God. I want you to celebrate with me, friends. Glory be to God. This morning, we received an outstanding check from the Lord. Amen. So I want to just publicly give a shout out to one of our friends, sponsors, partners of our ministry. Thank you for your generous donation. Hallelujah. Thanks to this man of God, to this brother in the Lord and his generous donation. Praise God. It nearly covers almost all of our costs for Route 66 Revival. 
nearly covers all of it. Now this year, I'm projecting this one month revival because we've added on guest speakers and just a number of things, et cetera, et cetera. Shaka Rabbah. So I'm projecting this year's Route 66 revival the whole month, 10 revivals in nine cities. It, it, it could cost up to 80 to 90K. Last year was much more. But glory be to God for the utmost generous donation that nearly helps us cover the rest of what we needed. Amen. So I don't know about you, but I'm believing for overflow. I'm believing for double, double. I'm believing for the greater glory. Amen. I'm believing for overflow, for the greater glory. And what a great start to June. Amen. What a great way to start the day, to start the month of June. Amen. How exciting. Because the Lord is releasing provision and overflow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And another thing I want to talk to you about is our tent is nearly up here in Chicago. Pray with us, y'all. My goodness. Glory to God. We are getting our tent ready for Chicago. Tonight, 7 p.m. You can watch us on the Route 66 Revival Facebook page. But tonight, 7 p.m. Central Time, tomorrow and Saturday, three days of revival, miracle signs and wonders. Keep us in prayer in Loyola Park, Chicago. And uh, Saturday night, we have Prophet John Veal coming. What a great man of God. Love him dearly. Uh, we've been friends, acquaintance, uh, acquaintances for a number of years, but this is the first time I'll actually be able to meet him. And uh, when I posted I was coming to Chicago, he commented and said, my city. And I said, oh my goodness. I forgot the man of God, Apostle John Veal lives in this region. So I reached out to him. And uh, he is now with us this Saturday evening. So that's going to be very powerful. Uh, he is an authority in the city, in this region. Even in the apostolic and prophetic. Amen. Uh, he is under Apostle John Eckhart. He is connected to the man of God, Apostle John Eckhart, a great general. So I'm excited, friends. Keep us in prayer. Look at what God is doing. Amen. Shakarabo. The Lord is moving on our behalf. Your prayers are working. Your love, your support is working. So I wanted to come on in the beginning and give all glory to the Lord Jesus and praise him and give you an update of the great things that are happening. Amen. In our ministry. And all thanks to you. Praise God. Now, I don't know where all of our viewers and friends are today. However, the gospel must be preached. And let me tell you, Jesus is king. And he's seated on the throne. Lift up your hands, Lord, I thank you. I ask you that you will fill every hungry heart. That you will mark every viewer, every listener with the power of God. And I thank you that you will lift up the humble. And I wonder, Lord, I remove any blockage, any censorship in the spirit. Every censorship, blockage, and control, digitally, spiritually, in the atmosphere. I rebuke it now. And Lord, I thank you for the breaker anointing on his broadcast. And upon my voice, as I go into your word and as I begin to declare what you have put in my spirit, for today's broadcast. Hallelujah. And all of God's people say amen, amen, and amen. Now, friends, I want you to do something. Of course, I'm here in Chicago. Next week, we're going to be in St. Louis and even Kansas City. Will you tag somebody, okay? If you know somebody in Chicago, Kansas City, or St. Louis, can you tag somebody? Tag somebody because we are coming to a town near you along Highway 66, the historic Mother Road, Route 66. We're doing eight, actually nine cities, tent revivals. All right, Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, Tulsa, Amarillo, uh, Albuquerque, Flagstaff, Phoenix, and Los Angeles. The whole month of June, we're doing tent revivals in the mighty name of Jesus. So can you tag somebody that you know is in Chicago, is in St. Louis, 
is in the surrounding regions of Kansas City. Because we're going to see great things. And I don't know about you, but I want to be a part of the move of God. I want to be part of what God's doing. Amen. And even in this month of June, friends, I mean, we're not sending missionaries to Africa, even though that would be great and that's important. But who here knows that people in America need to hear the gospel? America is one of the greatest mission fields. America, our young people, these people in the, in the nooks and the crannies, we need to preach the word of God in these inner cities like Chicago and St. Louis. Amen. These cities need to be shaken with the power and the glory of God. Someone say amen. So if you know somebody in Chicago, in St. Louis, Kansas City, uh, Tulsa, Amarillo, if you know anybody along the cities of Highway 66, please tag them. Tag them. Let them know that we're coming. We're doing tent revivals. We are unashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God unto salvation. Rebe sete. First for the Jews and the Gentiles. Amen. It's the power of God. So let them know that we're coming. In the name of Jesus. And it's time for all of America to be saved. Amen. All of America shall be saved. So you can find out more at Root66Revival.us Or at our website, BenlamGlobal.com. Amen. Well, friends, I want to talk about this word here about how the proud will fall. And what's resonating in my spirit is many, many to kill a parson. Many, many to kill a parson. The writing is on the wall. The finger of God is against you. And in America, with all of these worldwide organizations, with BlackRock, uh, which is literally the most powerful uh, entity company in America and the world, with the... One World Order and the Globalists. Uh, there's so much going on where in this month of June, for whatever reason, the enemy has turned this whole month into a month of pride. Jesus. Oh, Rabbi, help me, Lord. Into a month of pride. And I believe this month, we're going to see the proud fall. We're going to see the proud fall. And just even in my spirit right now, the Bible says, oh, how the mighty have fallen. How the mighty have fallen. And of course, that verse, how the mighty have fallen, it alludes to not just giants of the faith, but that verse, how the mighty have fallen, it alludes to the strong man, the stronghold. It alludes to uh, ginormous, enormous, gigantic, uh, ministries, messengers, mantles, anointings, and how the mighty have fallen. And I believe in this month, we're going to see the proud fall. And we're also going to see, hear me now, we're also going to see the humble lifted up. We're going to see the humble lifted up. And we're going to see the proud fall. And unbeknownst, Literally in the last hour or two hours, we see Joe Biden, the alleged president of the United States. Yeah, right. Such a corrupt, evil president, such a stolen election. How could anybody ever believe in the deception and the lie that he's an actual sitting president? He is not in his right mind at all. He never has been. And he's always been into evil, demonic witchcraft and always been into evil corruption. Many, many to kill a parson. The writing is on the wall. And just about an hour, two hours ago, Joe Biden just had a horrible fall on stage at the Air Force graduation. Now that video is going viral right now. And what is this, like the fourth, fifth time I mean, he fell on a bicycle? He fell down the stairs on, on Stair Force One, I mean Air Force One, multiple times. And today, on June 1st, come on somebody, don't tell me this is an accident. Don't tell me that this is not a coincidence. Because there's all these signs, say signs. There's all these signs that are pointing to the truth. But the blind don't want to see. The blind do not want to see. 
the leftists don't want to believe because they're deceived by the spirit of the blindness of this age. But you see, Joe Biden just fell again. And again, I'm not gloating. Honestly, it's such a shame to our country. Such a mockery and such a pity to this nation. But, sh but here, Joe Biden fell again. And even as Joe Biden fell, I believe that even this is a sign, say sign, this is a sign of the fall of the pride. Of those who are proud, they will fall. And I believe this month in the alleged pride month, in the so-called month of pride, we are going to see many high and lofty things fall. Are you hearing me today? If you're with me today, I want you to give us some hearts and lights in the name of Jesus. I believe in this month where it is allegedly the month of pride, we are going to see, we are going to see the proud fall. And we are going to see many high and lofty things fall like never before in the name of Jesus. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Shandarabatata. Sharabata. Now here, I want to go to some verses. But before I go to some verses here, and before I give you some scripture, amen. Shurababa. Before I give you some scripture, some word, look at Target. I mean, literally Target has lost over $9 billion. I think it's close to $13 billion now, literally in the last week and a half. So in the last week and a half, Target, a mega corporation, mega company in America, has lost nearly $13 billion. $13 billion. Why? Because they're targeting our children. And really, I'm not trying to be ultra political in this broadcast, and maybe that's why I'm, I'm maybe being shadow banned or censored right now, but the devil is a liar. But you see, so many companies are trying to groom your kids and push the transgender ideology, the evil cult of the woke left. And if you see, even as Target as a sign, my goodness, we are going to see the proud fall. Amen. And in this month of June, we're going to see the pride, the proud begin to fall one by one. One by one, the proud will begin to fall. I mean, look at the Dodgers. I mean, listen, I'm wearing the LA hat. Can't believe what the Dodgers did. Such an atrocity. Look at Chick-fil-A. Now, Chick-fil-A has some uh, equality discrimination type of branch at Chick-fil-A. And in fact, I never really liked Chick-fil-A personally. I never liked Chick-fil-A. I don't know what all the humbugs is. I'd rather go to Louisiana chicken or something. But we are in a day and era where the world is celebrating the pride of man. However, I declare and I decree that the proud will fall Many, many to kill a person. And in this month, hear me now, friends. In this month of so-called pride, we are going to see the humble lifted up like never before. And we're going to see the proud become utterly nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. Now let's go to Proverbs 18.12. Proverbs 18, 12. If you're with me today, say amen. Proverbs 18, 12. Before destruction, a man's heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. Isn't that interesting? I just turned in my manuscript about honor. Before humility, but humility comes before honor. Excuse me. So, other words, if you want to receive, experience honor in your life, you must be humble. 
Not that false humility, not that fake Christian masquerading mask humility. But if you want to experience honor, double honor, greater glory, you want to receive the rewards of heaven, then you must be humble. Amen. But destruction, before destruction, a man's heart is haughty. What does that mean? A man's heart is proud. Another translation says, before his downfall, a man's heart is proud. Before his downfall, before his destruction. So pride comes before a fall. Look at Target. Look at Joe Biden for the fifth, sixth, seventh time. Look at our economy. Come on, can I preach right now? Look at our economy. If you look at our economy and how things have fallen, who here knows that if you are in the Lord or if you're used by the Holy Ghost, if you're in the glory of God, then you go from glory to glory, victory to victory. That doesn't mean there's not going to be difficulties, trials, setbacks, tribulations. No, absolutely not. But if you're in the glory, if you're in the Lord's will, bam, you increase. Who here knows that when Trump was our president, we were increasing. There was obvious increase. Increase of finances, of our economy. Taxes were going down. There was peace from any world nation. There was increase. Come on, somebody. The fear of God. Uh... Uh, the overturning of Roe versus Wade, godly, uh, godly judges and justices being commissioned and set up. So we saw an increase during Trump's presidency. Amen. We saw the, the embassy being moved, the U.S. embassy being moved into Jerusalem, recognizing Israel as God's state. Jesus, y'all need to pray for me. Sure, but we see with Joe Biden, there's been decrease. Why? Because it's being destroyed. These walls of immigration. My goodness. How they treat our veterans. The war in Afghanistan. Are you kidding me? Pulling out our troops. What about the 13 that died in Afghanistan? Thanks to Joe's reckless recklessness. Thanks to Joe's recklessness. What, what about that? What about the losses, the crimes, the stolen election? Because if you're a if you are a fraud, and if you gained a seat of presidency by stealing and by corruption, then you will reap even more evil and even more corruption. So what I'm trying to tell you right now is. Destruction. Pride comes before destruction. Pride. And what we're seeing right now is we're seeing the rise of pride. I mean, honestly, Biden hasn't done anything but celebrates trannies, puts transgenders into the U.S. office. What does Biden do? He puts known transgenders, obvious transgenders, that are into satanic, ritualistic, occultic activity into the White House, into the cabinet. Are you kidding me? And I'm not trying to get political here at all, but I'm just stating the facts. The proud will fall. And before destruction comes pride. So what we're seeing is we're seeing a destruction. What we're seeing is we're seeing a devour, the spirit of death. Come on, friends, help me to break hunger today. We're seeing the spirit of death come in because of pride, because of haughtiness. And what is pride? I can do whatever I want. Pride is I'm always right. Pride is there's no fear of God. Pride is, I am God. The devil is a liar. Pride is, I could do this and I'm no one's going to catch me. I'm always going to get away with it. That's pride. That's arrogance. That's haughtiness. It is detestable in the eyes of God. It is detestable to Jesus Christ. Ha <laughs> ha. Amen. Before his downfall, 
A man's heart is proud. Pride comes before a fall. And I believe in this month of June, where the world celebrates Pride Month, I believe we're going to see a great falling. People, listen to me. There's not a gummy bear message. There's not a cute, wuzzy, fuzzy word today. This is the hammer of God. This is the word of the Lord. Hear me now. This may be one of the most important prophetic words that I've declared. This is a timely word. This is a now on time word. The pride of many will fall. Many, many to kill a person. And in this month of pride, we're going to see many corporations, companies, even ministries, people fall. Now, do we wish such a thing upon people? Do we wish calamity? No, we don't. We pray and we desire for repentance and for salvation. However, God will not be mocked. A man shall reapeth what he shall soweth. You will reap what you sow. And these are irrevocable principles in the heavens above. These are the laws of God that cannot be retracted, that cannot be changed. It cannot. You will reap what you sow. Amen. So in this day and age, in this month, hear me now, in the month of June, we are going to see many companies, corporations, ministries, ministers, and people fall this month. However, hear me now, there's a new breed rising. There's a new generation rising. There's a new group of revivalist reformers, men and women of God. There's a new breed of the ecclesia that's rising in Jesus' name. And the Lord is the one raising them up. Let's go deeper here, amen. If you're with me today, say amen. Glory to God. Let's go over to James chapter four. Glory to God. James chapter four, verse six. But he bestows greater grace. Therefore, it says God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. In this season, we're going to see unusual grace be given to those that are lowly, to those that are humble. We're going to see unusual grace. The Bible says his hand will lift up the humble. Amen. His hand. 1 Peter 5, 6 to 7. Amen. Sharabatarabratata. Therefore, humble yourselves under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time. God's hand will lift you up in due time. And I believe this month of June, many of you will have an unusual lifting up. The nobodies will become somebodies. The hidden ones will be revealed. Sharababarata. Those that are humble will be raised up and lifted up in Jesus' name. But God opposes the proud. And the Lord is calling the world, even the church, to repentance. Come to me. Come back to me. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Sharabalabatata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And here I am in Chicago. I can literally feel principalities in the air lifted and hoisted up against me. But remember, it was a little stone. It was a little rock that shattered the mountain. 
It was a little stone that destroyed the large statue of Nebuchadnezzar. It was a little stone that destroyed the life of the giant named Goliath. It was a little stone that eventually became the capstone. And the Bible says that little stone eventually grew and became a large mountain. Hallelujah. Somebody pray in the spirit. Shut up. It was a little stone that grew and became a large mountain. The Bible says the least of you will become a mighty nation. The least of you will become a mighty nation. The least of you will have a thousand. Hallelujah. Y'all gotta pray for me in this hair. I had no time to cut it today. The proud will be brought low. And the humble will be raised up. Amen. This month, my friends, if you have held a humble and contrite heart before God, expect the Lord to raise you up, to lift you up. Even this morning, suddenly, the Lord blessed our ministry with a great check. Amen. With a blessed check. With a great donation. In the beginning of our Route 66 revival. In the beginning of our 10 revivals. Amen. He will lift up the humble. Man, I feel the glory of God. Honestly, all that God has done in the last month is just flooding back to my mind. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, wow, wow. I, I literally see in the spirit right now. I see blessings in the sky. That God has held up for you. It's been kept for you. But I see that this month. It's going to fall down like rain. The held up kept up blessings. That he held up for you. Not from you. I see the levee breaking. I see the dam breaking. It's breaking and it's overflowing and it's outpouring. Jesus. I will give you all my worship. I will give you all my praise. You alone, I long to worship. You alone are worthy of our praise. I will give. You are my worship. I will give you all my praise. You alone I long to worship. You alone are worthy of my praise. Jesus. This month, the Lord is about to wow you. <sighs> humility comes before, this, before honor. Before honor comes humility. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Before honor comes humility. Pride comes before destruction. This month we're going to see the month of pride fall. Look out for news reports. Look out for reports, my friends. I'm telling you. Look out for reports, news reports on the month of pride falling. 
the month of pride will fall. Every church, every corporation that's connected and tied with this vagabond spirit will become nothing. This month, the proud will fall. And Jesus will lift up and raise up the humble. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Many men to kill a person. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Are you ready for the Lord to lift you up, to raise you up? Lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you. God bless your people today. I ask you that your sovereign mighty hand would raise them up in due time. And I declare this month of June of Sivan, the month of the second wind, the month of the boom of the upper room. God, I ask you that you would raise up your children. And I thank you for unusual promotion, unusual provision, unusual raising up in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that their promotion is unstoppable. I want to talk to you. Your promotion is unstoppable. Your lifting up is unstoppable. For it is God who lifts and raises you up. It is the Lord who does such a thing. Amen. Jesus, I thank you that the proud will fall. The proud will fall. Suddenly, your enemies will become nothing. They will vanish. They will disappear. They will become nothing in Jesus' name. All of God's people say amen. Well, thanks for joining me today. Once again, we're here in Chicago. All right, we're here in Chicago. Tonight, tomorrow, Saturday night, we have Prophet John Veal. If you know anybody in the Chicago land area, St. Louis, Kansas City, Tulsa, tag them. Because we are coming to a city near you. I'm very excited, super grateful. Today, I was able to turn in my manuscript that I've been working on all year. So glory be to God. And as well, a wink from daddy. The Lord blessed us with a great check and a wonderful check we needed for Route 66 Revival. It's not a cheap endeavor. Nine cities. I mean, we have, we have about 15 of us in our team. We have about five kids. And uh, God is good. Amen. So keep us in your prayers. Tonight, my friends, tonight, literally in about three hours, I'll be preaching, ministering. So bless you, love you. Share this. If this word encourage you, if you know this is the true word, that the proud will fall this month of June. God bless you, friends. Thanks for watching, following, liking, and subscribing. God bless you.